What's going on everybody? It's GD Marble and today we're going to be playing with exploding stars. We're playing Supernova by Motu. It's a circles level. I mean, it says in the title. It's, it's this is another circles level. Supernova. No, that's the exploding star. This level actually sucks. I don't like this level, so let's just go do it. <laughs> Supernova by Motu. I almost said Motu by Supernova. I don't know why, but Brain Man, I'm telling you what. Uh, I don't know why this has a little ring around it. I think this level is one of the worst Insane Demon Circles. Not because it's necessarily hard to beat, but it's just... Ugh. I don't. I just don't love it. The gameplay's weird and not fun. And honestly, the only reason I didn't get too frustrated when beating this is because I fluked the last ship, which is not hard. But if I had died there once, I probably would have made a couple mistakes again and would have sat there for another 500 attempts. And that, in the grand scheme of things, is nothing. But 500 attempts for a level like this is a lot. This could be 1,800 attempts, which is longer than I would have liked. But eh, I mean, back when it was not as good. Actually, that's not too bad. So let's jump into it. It starts with a ship, which is unique in and of itself. So it gets points for that. Because you did, most circles don't start with ships, but it's just... It's not as it's not as awesome as you might think. So we start with the ship. Uh, there's some fakes here. You can see right there the fake, um, the first fake there. You just go up here. You wake away through the elbow, and then here you almost hit the gear there, but you can just hit nothing, slide off of it, and then you do two clicks right there to straighten out. Even one click might work. Yeah, one click, two clicks, whatever, straighten out. And then here you have to hold a little bit, but it looks what happens when you hold. They make it annoying. You can't just hold into that. You have to hold so that you glide just between the gear and the elbow there so that you can glide and then pull yourself up, which is also a tough timing. So glide in the middle like that. And I don't have any tips for this. It's just really annoying to do. And, and you die here a lot. I died here a lot trying to beat this. So you, this is the one reason this level took me a little bit longer. And then you have to actually go up there too. You have to go to the top of the port because watch what happens. I'll show you. You glide in the middle, which is hard. Once you once you do that though, let's let's do it. If you go into the bottom of the portal and just hit the hit pink orb, there's no way to hit the pink orb and land on the platform. You just die. Uh, you, you have to go into the top so that you hit the you hit the, to the platform and then you're able to go up. Then you hit this green orb and you don't just go up immediately. You have to wait right until you're about to hit the yellow. Then you go up. So you hit green, about to hit the yellow, and then you hit go two clicks to go down to get to the blue and back up to the top so you go there one two one two and then you get to the memory part the memory part's actually not too bad it's one two three four five one two three four uh, i died because i wasn't fast enough but you get it one two three four five one two three four boom easy so then we go one two and it's memory and this is where the level gets annoying to play this took me about twice as long as it should have to learn just because i got so messed up with all the teleportation portals that came out of nowhere but even though the game plays easy i just got so confused in my brain my brains is, is confused. What? So you start by going up there, and then you jump. Uh, you can't just do anything there. You have to jump over that, and then you get teleported arbitrarily up here. And then you don't hit that yellow orb. You jump again, and you get teleported again. So you jump here, hold to hit that yellow orb. Then you teleport it again. You hit the green orb, but you have to hit it early enough that you can hit that blue one right there. And you get a little bit of a break but not for long because you got to jump over this yellow portal you jump over these like triple spikes this one's a little harder um not too bad and then here you jump into this and you get teleported up here you jump immediately to get over that and then the blue orb is actually not necessary so you just jump down here and you hit the pink orb and you get teleported once more so one one two teleported don't hit the blue you hit this uh green orb and now let's talk about this green orb this is another reason i don't like this level at least on 240 if you play on 60, this actually might be a little easier of this part, but at least on the Hertz I played on, there's many different ways to hit that green orb and completely die in the auto part. So well, I'll show you those ways and I'll show you the right way. Unfortunately, the right way is just a green orb timing. You hit it a little bit late. Um, so I actually found when I played the level, I only died to the auto a few times. So I didn't end up making a copy bowl. I ended up working out fine, but it, it was not bad enough that I felt like I needed to do any bug fixing. It was consistent. It was relatively consistent, but it's still annoying and you still will waste a death dying to this part. So let's show, let's see what happens. So let's hit the green orb as early as possible and see what happens. All right, let's try it. Um, so yeah, hit it as early as possible. All right, boom. We already die on that first column. 
That's hitting as early as possible. It does a little glitch there. Let's hit it slightly later than early. So there's slightly later than early. We get through that first column, and then we die at the second column in the same way. So what we have to do, let's try hitting it super late. We die of that gear. We're trying hitting it relatively late. Boom, that looks good. And we do get through, but watch what happens here. We actually do get through there, which is that, that must have been the perfect timing. But if you hit it just a little bit late, that last gear before it bounces up towards the green orb, you can actually hit that too on this very specific timing. So it's just all bad, but uh, hopefully I can nail it. But see, like you do nail it most of the time once you get um, past. It looks like I'm gonna get it this time. Oh, this actually might be the one where I hit the gear. We'll see. No, I don't. Okay, so you hit the green orb, and you see it works most of the time, but you can still die at that auto, so be careful. So I go like one, two, three, four, or one, two, three. Um, I like one, two, three, four here. Um, I don't know. I like I like a nice cadence. And then you go jitter, um, jitter up, jitter, jitter up, jitter, like that. Um, that part's not too bad. You just have to know what to do. And then it's just nice and easy uh, corridors here. And then here you have to go weirdly into the top of this uh, diagonal part, and then out the top as well. So. Um, you go in, out, and then you jitter a couple times to get through those tight sections. And then again, up and jitter. So it's just a lot of jittering. You can usually see where to go, but it's just going to be a little confusing to figure out. This part here, you go up and hold the button. You get a little bit of an auto break right there. There's a good gap in that little block too. And then you get to a slow part. And to get into that, you just go one. Um, you just go up, one, two. Well, is your best bet. You might want to do two clicks here. Um, so up one and then two to get in there and then you get a little bit of a break you come out in the mini wave and the mini wave is a little bit of a break as well at first it's just nice easy sweeping strokes um, then a little jitter and jitter up and then you get into the dual part and the dual part is good in this level because it's easy I, the, the dual part is really is like okay this let this wave is easy so you do uh, normal dueling here and then you get a little crimson clutter dual part as you remember crimson clutter at the end it has that part we have to go uh, stay off the bottom pretty much um, but it's pretty easy and then you get a nice slow bit right here spam a little bit And then I recommend so you don't get confused coming out and letting go into that portal because you're already synced up with the wave So you don't have to worry about going into that dual portal late badly and not syncing because you're already in a duel But if you go out and spam you can get confused about which waves on top and bottom So if you go out and just in the middle that can be confusing So I just say go out go towards the bottom and then wiggle so wiggle here you go up and down you see, you just follow the clicks at the bottom. You see, you can touch the bottom for spikes so you don't want to touch there. Um, you just spam uh, to stay in the middle there for each duel. Pretty easy, actually. And then you're an upside down wave. It writes you back up. You spam through here. That's not even something you need a click timing for. And you get to the last ship. Now, the last ship, for some reason, I found stressful the first time I played this. When I practiced through it again, I really found it was not bad. But for some reason I found this annoying, so let me see if I can figure out why. You start by going straight here, which I guess is, can be a little tough, but just straight fly normally. You go down, and then you just wiggle through these portals, and it's just, it's better to do limited amount of clicks there, just like one or two, go to when you're going upside down, one. Back to right side up, one. And then back to upside down, one again, and you just get, and then you can start to go up at that at end of that part. You don't want to do too many clicks, because that might get you off guard. And then here, it's nice, and it's better to not, instead of trying to straight fly, because if you straight fly here, you can go up, and then you can't get down in time. It's better to just do nice, heavy strokes right here, get into the mini, heavy strokes above, stay above, boom, and you're good. And then you just straight fly, I guess not. And you just straight fly here. Nothing, nothing bad. And that's with my left hand, by the way. Still want to remind you guys, we're do I'm still doing the lefty thing. So, uh, not bad straight fly for a left hand situation. But anyway, that's going to be Supernova. So, if you have any questions, comments. I mean, this one's pretty straightforward. It's just not, the gameplay's not the best. It's an older level. This is an example of older level not being that great, even though I usually praise older levels compared to newer ones. Overall, it's fine. Fine is a good way to rate it. We'll give it a four out of nine. I was going to give it a five, and I realized it's just not good. So, song's all right. It's overused for the time. Um, I like the color. We don't see many teal circles, so I think we got to give that credit. I think Fear of Me might be the only other one. Maybe one, maybe an extra one somewhere that I don't remember. But um, uh, Fear Me strikes me as the only other. I mean, Arctic Lights, I guess that's teal too, but like, it just looks so different. I mean, old circles. Fear of Me, I think, might be the only one that's rated even. Uh, yeah, so 4 out of 9. It loses points for being annoying to play, for not being crazy, unique, and awesome, it, for not flowing super well. It has a few points because it's a cool color, and the song's not terrible, and it starts with a ship, which is kind of unique. So those are the points it gets and loses, and there you go. So enjoy the completion, dash over to that, um, oh, <laughs> 
what am I saying dash? Roll, because ha, marble pun. Roll over to that uh, subscribe button if you're enjoying the content and uh, definitely leave a comment in the notification bell and a like in the description. And that's gonna be all for today, guys. We'll see you next time on the All the Circles series. I think that if it will it is gonna be verified, it's gonna be very hard for it to be verified. It's gonna take a long time. I mean, Minecraft it didn't beat Apocalyptic, Apocalyptic, Apocalyptic Trilogy yet because he's like if he not acting. Really if he much. can't beat Apocalyptic Trilogy, he can't beat Sonic Wave Infinity. He can, he, but he's just taking a break right now. So yeah, and he's he gonna be focusing on Apocalyptic first. So it might, I don't know if it's ever even gonna happen in all of, for a while. I don't know. Ooh, getting a PC, nice. Honestly, they might just end up dropping a ton of to end Switch. No, Minecraft is very fun, which they didn't drop it yet. I mean, if they do. They put no. There's no way. That's just an if. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but like if it does, it's more than likely probably going to be dropped down to end squish. I don't know where my path would find. He like took a break or something. Like he made progress on the gold and then just like disappeared. Yes! I just beat Supernova! I can't. Wow, that was good no. for an insane demon. Oh, oh, wow, I, I, my heart's beating right now. Not because this is especially hard, but because it just came out of nowhere. Wow, 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 wow. What am I gonna say about that? Oh my God. It was not done. Now it's done. And now we have a decision, guys. Husey, blue Husey, wants me to do down base for number 50. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> That's hard! I like the insanes, but I feel like I need to do an extreme. I just beat down base! I just beat down base! I just beat it! It's over! Dude. It's over! It's over! Nice. No way! No way! Nice.